you cannot teach a process that took a soul a thousand years to learn in an hour. How can I deal with the need to be right or correct? How can I gracefully talk to others who try to corner me into a win-lose, right-wrong conversation? It's exhausting. Well, this is always kind of like the, the, the battle of egos, you know, where each person's very existence and identity and belief system is like hinging on this one argument right now because they've they've just we've invested so much energy um, into a certain argument that almost like if it's gone or, if, or 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 if we lose it that we lose a part of ourselves and so when we when we were talking about um, someone asked about Eckhart Tolle and the observer and the the deep Eastern tradition of, of Zen and observation and Vipassana and observing, um, that's really, really important is to observe that part of you that comes forward that's like, woo, why do I need to be right right now? You know, why can I not just leave this alone? What am I trying to prove? What part of myself is sort of broken and being scaffolded up by this belief? And so... Um, I think, I think it, it's really, really important to get a feel for people. And if you sense that somebody is um, troubled and is really, really investing in a belief system that's, you know, to you untrue, it's honestly just best to walk away. Um, we can't convince people to have the same belief systems. And a lot of people have the discernment power that they have and the perspective that they have from many, 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 many different lives of suffering and crafting that ability to discern. Many different lives of seeing lies and living through very difficult circumstances. And that's how they gained their discernment, was living through really difficult times. And so in an hour, we're not going to convince somebody to have an ability that maybe took you literally so many different lives to learn. We can't force people in one life or even in a conversation to develop a faculty of critical thought or of discernment that you earned over many different lives. And so if somebody is open and their heart is open and they're genuinely curious, engage and have a conversation. Absolutely. See what you can learn from each other because maybe there's something that you don't understand. Um, but if, if they are closed and if this belief system is, is a scaffolding in their personality that cannot be removed and walk away, it is not worth it because you cannot, you cannot, teach a process that took a soul a thousand years to learn in an hour. It, it, it literally is today a difference in, it, it, there's a differential in consciousness. There's a differential in perspective. And it cannot be taught in an afternoon. And that is why we are where we are. And you can hold something in front of one person and they'll say that's yellow, that's green. They'll say this is freedom, this is slavery. It's because we're literally at different stages of development. So that's the advice that I would give there. <laughs> <laughs>